Hi, this is Beth Perry at the Swilly Library, and today we are again at the ATLA Religion Database, and I want to talk today about my soap box, and that is not using the full text limit on this database in particular because you get rid of a lot of good material that might be useful for you. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we've got 29,000. And we go to source types and we see that we have 12,000 academic journals, 7,000 book reviews, 4,000 books, 4,000 essays, and 31 records about multimedia. If I go up and click the full text, we now have 8,000, which is a lot fewer. Um, and we have 5,000 academic journals, and we have those book reviews, which um, usually that's not what we're looking for. And there is one essay, and I don't know why, because usually those don't show up, but it did. Okay, so we've just gotten rid of a lot of good material. All of these are PDFs, so um, these are all journal articles. And so I'm going to deselect full text and instead of that, I'm going to click just academic journals and essays. Let's say I don't need the book reviews, I don't need the books or the multimedia. So again, we have some that are PDF because they are found in the ATLA Religion Database. But if we go down to number seven, we have this find full text and we see that this is an essay. So that's a chapter in a book, and we want to click here to find the full text, and it tells us that it's available in eBook Central. So this is the eBook that the chapter is in, and we can click here, and it'll take us to the eBook. So we do have access to that essay, but if I had clicked the full text, that wouldn't have shown up. Likewise, this number eight is also publication type article, find full text. And so this tells me that it's available in Springer Nature. It's again, not full text from the ATLA religion database, but it is in Springer Nature. So again, we do have access to that. And then finally, on the next page, uh, we want to go to number 15, find full text. Now this one tells me how to get it, ILL article request. That's interlibrary loan article request. So that just means that you can click here and it will take you to a screen that has a form on it that's already mostly filled out. You just need to click a couple of boxes and we will find a library that has this that will send it to us. And so if we don't have access to it ourselves, generally we can find somebody who does. And so that's available to you as well. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get. Um, but it could be for an article, it could be just a few days. So all of these would be not showing up if you did the full text. So I just encourage you to give it a try and uh, see what good materials you can find that really fit your topic.